Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm Daver. And I'm Ben. And we're the Fragrance, fragrance Bros. Bros. Gosh, again with another review, this time with special guest Ben from, uh, where are you from? Stugger Review. <laughs> Not in the fragrance world. <laughs> <laughs> Avid viewer and subscriber. Yeah. And, that kind of thing. He's been on the channel before. Thank you, Ken, for coming on. Really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's always fun. Yeah. So today we are reviewing Hobdon by Parfums de Marly. All right, let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2013. It's classified as an oriental vanilla. Notes are saffron, frankincense, apple, rose, woody notes, ambergris, caramel, and myrrh. All right, now what do you get out of longevity out of this? Longevity? I actually get a, a pretty good longevity. Matter of fact, last night I sprayed it on the back of my hand probably around nine o'clock just to take notes and get ready and everything for this and I can actually still smell it now and it, it's almost 12 hours later or more yeah so I'm still getting it right now yeah on me I got excellent excellent longevity it does last for a long time I usually get about 10 to 12 yeah what about projection this one's odd when I first sprayed on it is beast okay it fills the room but after a few hours, it dies out a lot. And then probably around the six hour mark, it gets really close to the skin for me. And that, so it's kind of an oddball fragrance for me with the with the projection. It never seemed like it was beastly on me. Yeah. It seemed like it was always in the average range. My wife said it was very strong. Uh, so for me, it, it seemed like it only sat in the average range, uh, but it lasted a long time. So I'm not, you know, I don't even, it doesn't bother me at all. Right. Season, I think this is great for fall and winter. And I think it can be used day or night, I think. And purpose, I think this is, it's interesting because it, I think it can be used very casually, but also in formal situations as well. I agree with that, yeah, for sure. And just before we get to the actual review part, this was sent to us for review uh, by Parfums de Marley, so really appreciate that. Of course, we're gonna keep it 100% real, so uh, it's not gonna go into our opinions, but uh, just keep that in mind. All right, so what does this remind you of? This one is kinda cool. I at the beginning of it with the frankincense and myrrh kind of combo i mean i'm catholic so i was an altar boy for years so that was one of the ones i always had the little incense holder so it kind of reminds me a little bit of that okay but really when it dries down it reminds me of being at a fall festival and eating a caramel apple by yeah. this where there's a like kind of like a, a campfire nearby yeah there's that kind of that smokiness okay but with a sweet caramel apple it's awesome yeah <laughs> well it's funny like i don't get much frankincense out of this yeah maybe a tiny bit but i get i get more of the myrrh but I, but i do get a lot of caramel out of this yeah uh which is good and i get the apple which is really good as well parfums de marley is themed after racehorses uh from i believe the 18th century the hobdon is an arabian breed of horses so apparently uh, that's what it's named that. after. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. So, and this line is Arabian themed, but also too, I think this this Arabian line is also uh, Middle Eastern inspired too. I think it's yeah. for that type of audience. And this one is very interesting because for some Middle Eastern type of fragrances, they can be really thick and overbearing, and not for Western audiences. Uh, yeah, totally. So, uh, but this one is completely different. Like this one, almost anyone can wear. Yeah. And it has those themes of like that Middle Eastern type of vibe and feel, but it's very wearable and it's not overly powerful. Sometimes those Middle Eastern fragrances I think are just overbearing and I, I can't wear them at all. This is not that. I do get what you're saying here. Like whenever you say fall festival with yeah. caramel apple, that's totally a great description because I definitely get a caramel apple at the top yeah. as well as some cinnamon. Like I can almost see like candy apple yeah. as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, the cinnamon isn't super strong, but it's there. It's not listed in the notes either. As it dries, that aspect kind of fades after about an hour. Yes. And so what I get mostly is just kind of this really thick, uh, resinous, woody uh, yeah. quality that is really interesting. To me, the dry down doesn't blow me away, mm -hmm. but it's still really present, pleasant. I, yeah, I agree with that. To, I, the apple note, I get it with the caramel, but to me, the apple note fades kind of quickly for, yeah. on my skin, but the caramel kind of lasts through a little bit. But when it dries down, I, I don't, I can't really detect caramel as, as so much as I get a hint of sweetness. Yes. But it's the nice smoky incense, kind of woody, you know, aromas at the, at the base mm -hmm. that is it, which sounds a little generic nowadays, but it's so good. It is. It really is. Parfums Marley is really great at 
making these really expensive, rich fragrances mm -hmm. that are really accessible to a yeah. wide variety of people. And that's what I really like about them. Whenever you wear it, it smells really rich. Like yeah. it smells worth the money that you put into this. But also too, it's really wearable. Sometimes a lot of niche fragrances, I've talked about this ad nauseum, sometimes niche fragrances can be just really conceptual and yeah. hard to wear or maybe only for you and no one else can enjoy them. Parfums de Marly is completely the opposite. Like a lot of people will enjoy this. I don't like heavy incense fragrances. I do like incense in there, but like when I wear some like some Amo washes, of course they're known for incense, right? When I wear them, my son will say, oh, daddy, you smell like church. Because it's so incense dominant and it's so strong and powerful. Mm -hmm. It's almost kind of unwearable for a lot of times for, for me, mm -hmm. right? But where the incense in this is done, it's just right. Yes. It's like the Goldilocks of incense, right? Yeah. So it, it's got a the good incense, you know, aroma, but it's not overly powerful, not too strong, and it accents. It doesn't overpower the other notes, so you can pick up the other stuff, and it just, it all meshes well together. I remember years ago in the fragrance community when people were talking a lot about uh, Amber Nargulé by oh, Hermes, yeah. the Amescence line. I remember people were really talking about that and saying it had an apple pie type of vibe. Yeah. And whenever I first smelled this, I thought it had kind of an apple pie type of vibe as well. It definitely has some apple and caramel in there, yeah. similar, but it's not in a gourmand direction. But the reason I bring Amber Nargulé up is because whenever I heard reviews of it, I thought I was going to really love it and it ended up not really liking it. I thought it was very thin and watery and not just not something for me. But this reminds me of, of Amber Nargule in that this would be what I would want out of Amber Nargule, yeah. but didn't get. I know it's apples and oranges, but this to me is just a lot better in that regard. I think it's thicker and fuller and yeah. uh, more wearable. It's just a great fragrance. I can see that because Amber Nargule is one of my all time favorites. I love that. Yeah, and I but I can totally see the connection you're trying to make here. It does. It's like a a thicker, heavier, you know, more resinous version of kind of amber nargile. Mm -hmm. So I get that. Yeah, mm -hmm. total makes sense. Now, what about compliments? Did you get any compliments with this? Not really. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my wife said it was kind of meh. Okay, but she only smelled it like right when I sprayed it on. Mm -hmm. Like I I never caught her whenever it had dried down. She don't really like the incense part too much. So I think she would like more the middle of it. I've only had about a week of cold weather, and when I did, you know, we, I just never got her to smell it, really. Yeah. But other than that, when I wear it around, I, I never got a compliment, really. Yeah, my wife thought it was okay as well. Yeah. Uh, one of her main critiques of it was that it was pretty strong, um, which maybe it is, or maybe she just perceives it to be strong, I don't really know. But other than that, I didn't really get many compliments from it, but as I said, I think this is a fragrance that is just generally likable. Yeah. I think I still think people are going to like it though around you, even though yeah. they may not go out of their way to to uh, say they like it or something. Yeah. Bang for buck, this is three hundred twenty dollars for one hundred twenty five mil. That's in the high range. Oh yeah. But I think with all of Parfums de Marly scents, I definitely think you're getting your money's worth here. Um, all their scents are really made well, as well as this one. There's just something about it that smells rich and it lasts a long time, it's powerful, it's really wearable, easy to wear, very pleasant. So I definitely think you're gonna get your money's worth here. Final rating, what do you give this? This is a little tough for me. Like, when I first smelled it, I was thinking of five out of five. Yeah. But after wearing it a little bit, you know, cause I got it in the spring when I lived in Houston still, and of course it's hot there, it's even hotter there. Spray that and it's a little bit, when it's warmer, it, you know, it's a little more overbearing a little bit and I, I still enjoyed it. So I'm kind of like three, four, but so three and a half out of five for me right now. Okay. I mean, because I love the, the, the smell of it, it's amazing. Yeah. And I love, you know, it does last a long time, but from on my skin, projection is not as great. The first four hours is perfect. After that, it, it really goes close to the skin after that. I mean, for, and for that much money, I, I just want it to project a little bit more than it does. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, you know, four. I'll give it a four. Okay, uh, four. This, I, I just love the smell of it way more yeah. than the longevity is a problem for me. So four out of five, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna give this a four out of five as well. I really like this scent. I think for all the same reasons. I, what was funny was whenever I first smelled it, I have a first impression of this. Whenever I first smelled it, I thought I was immediately gonna give this a five. And when I wear it, I still really like it, but maybe it isn't a five scent. But it is one of those scents that I would wear frequently. 
Yeah. Sometimes fours, uh, four out of fives, I wear more than my five out of five sets. Yeah. So that kind of says something, I don't know what, but <laughs> it's a really good set and I really like it for all those reasons that we said, the caramel apple, resinous, woody aspect. It's just so good. So yeah, four out of five for me. So that's all we have. Let us know what you think of Hobdon. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let us know down in the comments. Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. We'll love you for it. We'll see you next time. We're the Fragrance Brothers. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.